Hey, what's up everybody? AKP Gaming. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the six daily quests that you need to be grinding out each day if you want legendary script. Just so you're aware, this does not include the event. So again, event can be a little bit more in terms of script, but the daily quests that you need to do. I'm going to talk about my top six and of course what you get and the items, XP and caps that you may be able to unlock for each. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got lots of new upcoming videos, including information about the possum badges that you might find really interesting. And also I'm going to be redoing the armor video and I'm gonna discuss the top three armors in Fallout 76. So make sure you hit that button. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. So let's get straight into the video and into position number six. Six. So coming into position number six is the daily quest Waste Not. It involves killing very quickly three um, Protectrons, getting their cores and then taking and depositing the uh, cores over to the good old Red Rocket uh, Mega Stop. And you'll go into this building over here uh, in the most northwest corner as you run across. Um, if you are unsure of this location, it is here. Um, and of course the top right, sorry, top right hand corner as it is on the map. Once you've got the cores, you just come over. Now if you haven't done it, you just click on that terminal and click alerts and that will unlock the quest. Normally once you've done it once, it will automatically go. Now naturally on this one, you get 20 caps, you get 300 XP as standard and you get a few things like potentially a recipe and some scrap, but most importantly, seven legendary script. So coming into position number five is talk to Chloe at Berkeley Springs. Um, Chloe, of course, is your nanny in this game and she will designate you uh, one of uh, five different quests. Um, it can be collect gold perinards, mile at me, angler me, collect flowers or attend and survive a play date. On this one, she told me to go to my play date and then of course there is an attack that you just have to survive. It doesn't take you too long. Once you've done it, you will return to her. She'll tell you that you're back too soon as always. And then once you have completed the quest, what you will unlock is normally 90 caps. You will receive 300 XP as standard and of course seven script. Other than that, Unfortunately, there is still no real extras that you actually unlock, which is why I've ranked it as number five. But of course, you still do get the seven legendary script, which is fantastic. OK, so now we'll move on to number four. So coming in at number four is the daily quest idle explosives. Uh, what you'll have to do is you'll have to find Boomer, which is over at the Southern Bell Motel. Southern Bell Motel. Um, this one, no matter um, if you've done it or you haven't, this will be the first part of the quest. You'll meet a robot that unfortunately uh, his legs are not doing very well. And you have to talk to him and then he will send you on a quest to go and defuse um, of course some bombs and it doesn't take too long to do um, it's normally a random location um, that he sets and then once you have um, collected the last bombs and you have completed it you will unlock 700 xp um, that's standard of course you can still boost that you'll get 90 caps you'll also get seven legendary script once again which brings our total up to uh, 28. Um, and then, of course, you'll get six adhesive or aluminium. Um, also, the blast mine, blast mine crafting, if you haven't completed that already. Um, and, of course, random ammo, random aid, and a random plan, armor, mod, or weapon. Okay, so there's no extras that you need to do. But, again, seven legendary script. And, again, that is the next one. So now we get on to the top three. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you're still watching. And let me know what your favorite daily quest is. Um, always like to know. Um, I always enjoy Biv, etc. But let's get into the top three. So coming in at number three is the good daily quest, Queen of the Hunt. Um, there are actually uh, five locations that it will give you, but you only normally need to uh, go to one or two until you find the creature. Um, you've got Site Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta and Epsilon. Um, all of them are in the same locations. And all you've got to do is hunt down the um, sort of cryptid. Once you've done that, 
What you will unlock is Cryptid Knowledge, which actually gives you 10% damage bonus to the creature that you have hunted. So whether it's a Wendigo, um, the Grafton Monster, etc., you'll get a 10% bonus uh, for damage on him. Um, in terms of then after that, you'll get random aid, ammo, armor, um, a random one-star legendary weapon or armor, which again isn't the greatest. You're going to probably trade that in for a uh, script, but it's still an extra one to add. You'll also get 125 caps as standard, but also your teammates will get 10 caps if you're on a team. And then, of course, seven legendary script once again. And as standard, 900 XP and 175 for teammates. Now, um, in terms of the actual unlocking of it, um, again, there isn't really much. It should unlock pretty easily. Um, because again, it's a terminal uh, that belonged to uh, Shelby O'Rourke and again, it should just bring it up on your map. If it hasn't or you are confused, then please do let me know and I'll try and get back to you in the comments down below. Okay. The only other thing of note is that um, the quest is the only source as well for the shielded lining casual under armour. If you haven't got that plan, then of course that is another one. Um, but again... All three pl previous plans to that need to have been earned to unlock it. Okay, so that is number three. Again, good start getting XP for teammates. And of course, now let's get to the top two that, um, of course, are the ones that you must be doing. So I didn't have a huge amount of footage for this, but coming in at number two, Copper Squatter, given by Chief at Watoga Emergency Services. Um, again, once you've spoken to him, he will unlock a random location down in the uh, bog, down in the bottom right-hand corner. Once you have completed it, you will get 600 XP as standard, 70 caps, and eight legendary script. Also, random ammo, aid items, and a plan armor mod a chance for a legendary weapon or armor. So again, number two. Now to finalize, number one for the daily quest that you must do. And this is something that you would have done uh, very early on into the game. Now you might have to read Scribe Grant's terminal to unlock this, but if you've completed the main quest, then normally it is just triggered by entering the bog in the bottom right hand corner. Um, some days it's active, some days it isn't. It's a little bit, I don't know whether or not glitchy or not, but down in Fort Defiance, you'll have to read the terminal and then that will unlock saying that you need to find the good old Scorch Beast DNA. Okay, now once you've done that, um, you will then go back to the, um, of course, University, vault -Tech University, to put the Scorch Beast DNA in there. Now, once you have done that, you will get right, right, roughly 800 XP, 100 caps, and 8 legendary scripts. There is also a chance for a Gatlin laser, random ammo, first aid items, and of course a chance for a legendary weapon as well. Okay, so I hope you found this video really useful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you've been here the whole eight minutes, then make sure that you do hit that subscribe. Um, again, lots more content coming your way, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy, people. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.